Just able to recover. Rod Ford over the line. Rodney on the right side to Sexton. Penalty expires. Back on top. Kaminsky with a shot. Missed the upper corner. And around the far boards. Getting to it is Sidlowski. Out the center ice. Here's McNabb. Up the right side. Now two on one. In over the line. Back to McNabb. He's shot. Score! In overtime. The Avics take the victory. McNabb puts it away. And the Avics come away with a win. Six to five. I didn't think he hung on. He got on that puck so long. He, I didn't think there was any way he was going to find any empty net. He gets that pass back, and he hangs on, hangs on. Then finally, Tom sat top shelf over that catching glove. I've said all night that Laurier's had trouble with that trapper, and he had trouble there as McNabb puts the nail in the coffin, and he sinks the Syracuse crunch with that overtime goal, and Rochester wins it 6-5. to five. How huge is that goal? I'll tell you what, for the Rochester Americans struggling to get something going and to come up with a goal like that right now has to be uh, such a huge morale booster. Well, definitely a two-on-one situation. And, they, you know, the whole play started with a pass up to McNabb in the middle. He threw it out to the white, to the white player, and he got it back, and he just took his time, and he made sure with no doubt. Well, a nail-biter here at the Blue Cross Arena tonight, but the Amherst come away with the victory, scoring 56 seconds into overtime, 56 seconds, as McNabb comes up with the game winner. Great job by the crew here tonight. Stick around for the postgame.